Oh, it's all right. It's down the corridor. What is it? It's about half eight. <sighs> Blimey. What have they put in the bolts in his neck? Yeah, it took me a while to get used to it and all. Brought you some magazines. Oh, Ta. I think it'll just take us a few days to get used to it. Doctor said it's not as bad as it looks. I don't care anyway. I don't care about the scars, I just want him to be all right. Um, listen, Carly told me to tell you not to worry about the bistro. She's got it under control. You've got a good in there, David. Yeah, I know. You just never realise how much. Hey, come on. Look after her, right? Never forget how lucky you are. Sorry, Em. I need to see you, and you know what it's about. Who's that? Uh, just work stuff. And is it the uh, the Rovers or the Beast Drop today? Rovers. So I want to know if I can cover her while she takes over Leanne at the hospital. Hey, do you have to be possible with all those people in Beast Row or what? Hey. Well, in the Rovers, you can just be dead casual, can't you? Like, yeah, what do you want? But in there, it's all, yes, madam, what would you like to order? I'm always polite, Ty. What did you do that for? I'm trying to see the doors open. Mm. Don't speak to me like that. See, what is wrong with you? Well, I'm... Look, David owes me 20 quid and I could do with it. I went round and he wasn't in. Right, so that means you can just go walking round biting everyone's head off, or is Look, it just me? I'm sorry, OK? It's just these shifts. I'll see you later. See you, Ty. Bye. Not exactly a morning person, is she? Mm. We could have had an extra half hour in bed. No, we couldn't. You're due at the market, and I promised I'd take my grand shopping. Does she have trouble getting around the shops? Only if a store detective's following her. Bit of a klepto on my gran. And photos up in fresh goes. Are you joking? I wish. I'm worried that if she gets caught again, then they might do more than just tag her. Your gran's tagged? Actually, I think she's between tags at the moment. Hmm. <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet the rest of my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like an enamoured fit right in. <laughs> How about we do something this afternoon? I could always take the afternoon off. It's been dead quiet this week. Yeah, sounds good. What do you fancy doing? Hiya. Hiya. Come in. Um, I just wondered if you fancy doing something with Joseph this afternoon. Uh, yeah, this afternoon's not great. No worries. We'll do something tonight instead. I'll see you later, then. Brew? No, no, not for me. I'm going to be late from work. Mm, I wonder why that is. I'm going to ask the girls today if they'd like to come to my bank holiday do. I can't wait to wipe the smirk off Anna's face. Um, actually, Anna's invited me to her barbie. And what did you say? Well, I couldn't turn her down, could I, with colleagues? But you're my daughter's lesbian lover. Mum, you got to say girlfriend. Yeah, well, whatever. It's still Trump's colleague in my book. We're joking. Of course we're going to be there. <laughs> anyway, a garden party. I thought it was a barbecue. Yeah, well, people like the Windasses have barbecues and people like us have garden parties. What's that noise? It's the upstairs maid. It's Tim. Who do you think? He's having the shower. Oh, you are not leaving some random naked bloke upstairs while you waltz off to work. It's not a random bloke. And if I wasn't late for work... I'd offer to scrub his back. Mum! Oh, don't be such a prude! Right, I want you to go home and grab some sleep. <sighs> Gail's coming over as soon as she's finished at the bistro, so I'm going to sit with him till then. Yeah, but then I'd... No buts. Tina's agreed to cover for me at the Rovers, so we're all sorted. <sighs> Someone is going to be with him at all times, but it can't be you 24-7. Anybody ever told you how much of a bully you are? No, oh, they wouldn't dare. Right, I'm going to grab a drink. Are you say your goodbyes? OK? Right then, Nicky boy. It's your lucky day. <laughs> You've got my mum sitting with you for the next couple of hours, so you're going to get all the gossip about what's been going on at Rovers. You'll hear about how my grand's winding her up, how Eva's a lazy mare around the house. And then you got your mum coming. She's going to sit with you for a bit. She'll probably kick off reading the horoscopes, making side comments as to how accurate they are. Do you know what? You're probably better off in a coma. You, you just wake up, please. I'm using all my best material here. 
Is she going to point an appearance? I'm only meant to be doing half day. She's coming down here ten minutes ago. What, and you're surprised? She's been swinging the lead ever since Roy left. Yeah, I know, and a pound to a penny. She'll be sat in her bed, you know, scoffing away in flapjacks, watching the Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> so oh, sorry, one pound ace, please, love town. Mind you, you know, she might have had a fall. Going to the loo in the middle of the night. Yeah, and she's all there on her own, no one to hear her. Well, she could have been lying there all night, unconscious. Sylvia! Lovely chat. Oh, keep him away from me. I refuse to get the woo day. Oh, it's too late by the looks of it. Isn't he gorgeous? Well, with jeans like mine, how can he not be? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you get back to Audrey. I've left her on her own. How's she going up? How's Nick? Well, they've took him off the ventilator now and he's started breathing by himself, thank God. Oh, that's really good news. Yeah, just hope he wakes up soon. Gail must be going through hell. <laughs> they all are. David especially. I don't think I've ever seen him this upset. Mm. All I'm saying is Tina is involved in his life, like it or not. Yeah, and she goes off her trolley at regular intervals. So that's why you wanted to meet me for dinner, is it? I just think we need to be on the same page where Tina's concerned. <laughs> Why is it whenever a woman says that, what they actually mean is, is I want you to agree with me? Fine. I want you to agree with me. I just think it'd be nice if she came round for tea or something. Help put him to bed and that. I think she should be involved. Who's oh, she up there? No. Just this now. It's me, again. I don't know how long you think you can keep ignoring me for, David. We live on the same street. I just thought a nice little pub lunch would cheer you up. I said I don't need cheering up. I'm in a perfectly good mood. <laughs> Tell that to fat Brenda. That crack you made about a hula hoop was very unkind. What can I get here? Ah, well, a nice little welcoming smile won't go, miss. Don't serve it or not. Have a pint of vodka and coke, please. That wasn't that hard, was it? youth of today, when I was her age. Yeah, you were aboard a like criminal reprobate who would sell his own mother down the river for the price of a fortnight in Benidorm. Still had a smile for the neighbours. <laughs> See, that's better. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, hi, yeah. Would you believe it? First chance I get to do the washing. Sheen's knackered. Oh, well, did you want to use ours? Uh, well, yeah, that's what I was hoping. Listen, um, Stella called earlier and said, make sure Leanne gets plenty of sleep. Well, I'd just rather be busy. Yeah, OK, so we'll, uh, We'll keep it between ourselves, shall we? Yeah. Uh, oh, how's Nick? Um, yeah, he's um, off the ventilator. Yeah, Stella said. That's yeah. good news. Yeah, everybody's been really great, you know, rallying round. Mm. David's in bits. Must be guilt. Well, partly. What do you mean? Well, they're both in the car together and he came away with barely a scratch. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, it's been really amazing, though, you know. This morning he turned up before work with a load of magazines for me. David? Yeah, no surprise at all. I've always thought he was a sly little toe rag, but just goes to show, doesn't it? Maybe I'm not the best judge of character. Anyway, I'll yeah. see you later. Carl, you need ten minutes, is that all right? Uh, well, no, actually, all I right, was just... Thanks! Whoa! Why? Hello, Carl. Hello, Carl. Hello, Carl. Hello, Carl. Hello, Carl. We were just coming to find you. Oh. Hello, JD. Hello. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's a bit, it's a bit bad at the minute with uh, Nick being in hospital. Got a couple of shifts in the bistro. And, oh, uh, we won't keep you. Um, we were just wondering if you wanted to come around to us for tea one night, you know, help with Jake. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's sort that out. Um, listen, I'll give you a ring in the week. Bye, Jake. Tell me it's not true. What? I saw your face last night when uh, Leanne was describing what nasty little tricks someone's been playing on him. All those spiteful, petty things that are David Platt written all over him in big red letters. <sighs> Say that, I don't know what you're talking about. So then about. I thought, then I thought, what would make you so angry and twisted that you'll do those things to Nick? And then the penny drops. Hmm. Have you been drinking? I was right, wasn't I? Nick's the one that slept with Kylie. <laughs> and you lied about it, like you lie about everything. The vendetta, the crash. It all makes sense. Do you know, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. But with everything that's going on, I completely forgot to pay my credit card bill. Will you help me do it online? Hi, Tina. Hi. I mean, I'm damned if I'm going to let them charge me their ridiculous late fees. I've got my bill. We can do it on the computer. Yeah, yeah. OK. Tar. 
couldn't be more wrong. I swear. David, I'm due at the hospital. I'll be back. And I want answers. You're lucky to have caught me. I'm just on my way back to work. Everything's all right, isn't it? Well, well, I'm not sure. Sylvia didn't show her face in the cafe all morning, so I've gone up to the flat and look, I found this. What? Dear Anna stroke Jenna, needed to get away. I've gone to my sister. Sorry to let you down, Sylvia. P.S. The big fridge mm. wants cleaning out. There was dried lasagna stuck to the shelf when I looked earlier. Not very hygienic. Don't you think Ryan Ailey have got enough to worry about without her pulling a stunt like this? Yeah, I know. Listen, I don't know what to do for the best. Do you reckon that she's told him? Well, it doesn't look like it. Do you think we should call him? No, because if we do, they'll be straight back here pronto. I'm not having the end of their holiday ruined because of her. You and Jenna can cope till they get home, yeah? Yeah, of course we can. Right. Well, then we do nothing. Let them enjoy the rest of their holiday in peace. Another cup, eh? Yeah, go on then. I'm just waiting for Katie and Joseph. Oh, we had a little jake in earlier. We should think about setting up a crest in the corner. Blimey. Blimey. Where's Joseph? What, no? Hiya, Katie. Hiya, Katie. Where's Joseph? He looked like he was coming down with a bit of a cold, so I thought it was best to keep him at home. He's just there anyway. He's in good hands. Well, I could have come round to you. No, no, it's fine. He was asleep anyway. Faye's that excited to have him and Jake to fuss over. I thought I'd best leave her to it. <laughs> oh. Don't look so disappointed. Thought it'd be nice for me and you to have a chat without having to wipe something every five minutes. Might as well make the most of it. Why don't you go home? I'm all right, yeah. David, you've hardly said two words all afternoon. I just said I'm all right here. Yeah. That's three. Fine, please yourself. <clears throat> it's funny sitting in these chairs. I sit in them all the time. Doors off sometimes. When? When I'm on my own. When you and me gran are at lunch or you're at the supplies or wherever. Go drop the latch, sit back here and have a little snooze. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sneaky one, you are. You always have been. <laughs> How come he turned out to be the goody? Who? Nick. What, making you the better? Yeah, I guess. Nick's no Saint David. Oh, yeah. You should know. <laughs> that was a long time ago. It's gonna be okay. Come on, don't be misery guts. I don't want to go on a big night out, okay? It's a few drinks at the Rovers. It's hardly a pub crawl up Deansgate, is it? Come on, look, your shift's nearly finished. It's Friday, Carl's giving me an early dart. How do you know that my shift's nearly finished? Because, you know, it's almost five o'clock. I do shift work. Steve's put you up to this, hasn't he? No. Oh, please, when was the last time you and I went on a girls' night out? <sighs> well, I think we're both a bit old for a girls' night out, aren't we? Oh, saying I'm past it. <laughs> you know I'm not. Do you know what? Fine. You want to be Misery Guts? Be my guest. Of course she knew it was a setup. I told you it wouldn't work. So do you want to come back to mine for a bit? You mean Anna's? I'm sure Joseph will be awake as well. Yeah, and his cold will have probably cleared up, I reckon. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to see you, just the two of us. You could have just said. Yeah, I know, but you and Sinead, it's just a bit... Look, whatever's going on between me and you, we'll always have Joseph. We should be more honest with each other. Yeah, I know, but that's not enough for me. Jez, I just want us to get back together like we were. You, me and Joseph. Yeah, that's what I want and all. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. It's Sinead, isn't it? Pretty obvious things are getting serious from what I saw at the house this morning. 
Yeah, yeah, we are. Look, I don't want to hurt her. She doesn't deserve that. Just come back to the house for a bit. No, I can't. I said I'd meet her at the Rovers, and I've already let her down once today. Ches, just remember I want to get back with you. More than anything. I mean, I'm calling it a garden party, but I don't want you to think it's going to be anything terribly grand. Ah, good, because uh, top hat's at the cleaning. <laughs> Come on, Mum, let's get a table. No, it's just going to be good company and a few drinks and something elegant and simple from Nigella. Oh, fresh goals if she wakes up with a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> so be as if. I want to go meet Jenna. I'll see you later. Hi, Jess. What can I get you? Uh, pint, please, Tina. Uh, Sal, what time does orders close? Uh, half five, usually. Hiya. Hiya. Drink. Cranberry juice, please. Sure. How was the park? Yeah, good. And Joseph? Only when I just saw you now, you and Kate were looking very cosy. And Joseph were nowhere to be seen. And I thought when you're better, we can all go on holiday together. We've never done that. We could go see Sarah Lou in Italy. Yeah? Wonder how her and Kylie would get on. Both very strong minded. A pair of proper little madams. Actually, maybe I'll call me on. Anyway, I'm going to read your style, Sam. You may have been. You may have been feeling out of sorts recently. Yeah, well, that's spot on. It's time to put that exercise... ...regime into action. Yeah. Chance to be a fine thing. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Um, I I've been meaning to say, um... What you said to Leanne the other day. Well, I have only told her the truth. And if ever there was a time for truth, it's now. Well, it meant a lot to her. Well, she means a lot to Nick. And I've been terrible to Leanne sometimes over the years. Right sanctimonious cow. Yeah. And the way she's been there for him, every step of the way, had to practically march her out of here so she could go and get some kit this morning. He's lucky to have her. He's lucky to have you all. I better get going. Why don't you stay for a bit, eh? Well, if you've got the time. Yeah. See, the thing is, Sal, Owen's already invited us to his barbecue, so... Oh, but I've known you for years, and Michelle and I, we're colleagues. Yes, don't worry, Sal. I'll make sure we're at your party. What am I going to say to Owen? Um, I don't care. Anyway, so, Tim, is he going to be there? And we'll be, uh... Oh, getting serious. Well, it's early days, yeah. But... Are you going to be mixing the pims, is he? Handing out the croquet mallets at this garden party? He's looking forward to it. Oh, sounds very posh for a builder. Oh, we can still drink Pims. <clears throat> anyway, me and Steve tried to get Eileen out for a drink tonight. Oh, did you? What happened? No, she won't budge. Even on the promise of free rum and cokes all night. She bit me, head. I'm just glad our punters phone in for a cab. I mean, they run a mouth, saw her face to face. <laughs> oh, it can't be easy for her, though, can it? You know, at her age, meeting a fireman and then like that is gone. Mm. Be like winning the lottery once it and then losing it all five minutes later. Mm, like uh, Viv, what's her name? Oh, well, yeah, they made a musical about her, didn't they? Viv Nicholson. The show was called Spend, Spend, Spend. Very entertaining by all accounts, much as my love life is to you lot. Eileen. You know, I thought to myself, oh, lovely Steve and Michelle, they're only trying to help. We were just chatting. I know what you were doing, I heard. Yeah, I might be a loser, but I thought at least my friends wouldn't get quite so much enjoyment out of it. Should I go after her? No, no, leave her. I just mean she's easier to deal with when she's calmed down a bit. You're right, love. 
Um, um, yeah, are you, are you working now? Yeah. Okay, I'll take my break. I get it. You were together a long time. You've got Joseph. You've got this big bond between you. Yeah. That doesn't mean I don't have feelings for you. I'm sorry, Ches, but this is it. Decision time. I won't be messed about again. So you better tell me, is it her or me? Quiet, well, Tina. If you need an appointment, I'm Oh, just... no, no, it's David. I come to see. Oh, right, OK. okay. See you. See you. You look terrified of me, David. No, of course not. Look, I'm your mate, OK? So just tell me, the vendetta Leanne was going on about, was it you? No. Was Nick the bloke who slept with Kylie? What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? Did you cause the crash? David, for God's sake, I am warning you now. I will march out of there with what I know. I will go to Gail and Leanne. I'll go to the police, David. This is serious and Nick could die! No. Fine. Fine. No, wait, Tina. Get, tell me then! Did you try and kill your brother? Coronation Street's back in half an hour.